Silicon Neuroma has returned to Destiny 2 and it's part of the Nightfall weapon drops this season. But it's a slow firing, hard hitting sniper rifle, plus it comes with some very interesting and versatile origin traits, meaning this sniper is going to come in very useful in high end PvE content this season. Well today I'm going to check out the Silicon Neuroma, look at the stats, the god roll guide for PvE and PvP, plus how to get the Silicon Neuroma in Destiny 2. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, the Silicon Neroma is a legendary kinetic sniper rifle with an aggressive frame, meaning it's got high damage and high recoil. So looking at the stats, we've got 90 for impact, 77 for range, 25 for stability, 32 for handling, 34 for reload speed. It's a 72 rounds per minute sniper rifle with three in the magazine. Well, Silicon Neroma was in the original Destiny 2 as it was Asher Mir's weapon and he was our vendor on IO at the time. This was a great sniper back then because it was quick and packed a serious punch and the sniper has returned to us in the Witch Queen DLC and it's been given a perk revamp to update it to the standards of the sandbox we have today. Well, a lot has changed since the original Destiny 2, and Silicon Neroma is back to join the party. Well, as a 72 RPM sniper, this is in the slower range of the sniping family. Now, if you're comfortable with that, then this is a sniper worth checking out. Now, it does have a wide array of perks, so you can take this into PvP if you want to, but it also has the Vanguard Vindication Origin trait, and that heals you on every kill. That makes it good in PvP, but absolutely deadly in PvE. It also has the Stunning Recovery Origin trait which heals you, improves recovery and partially reloads your magazine after stunning a champion. And that makes it really useful for high-end PvE content. Well, next up, let's have a look at the Silicon Neroma God Roll Guide. So the PvE, Hammer Forge Rifling, Appended Mag, Triple Tap and Firing Line would be a good roll. So with Hammer Forge Rifling, that increases the range. Then with Appended Mag, that increases the magazine size. Triple tap is where rapidly landing precision hits will return one round to the magazine. And finally, you've got firing lines. So this weapon deals increased precision damage when you're near two or more allies. Then for PvP, hammer forge rifling, high caliber round snapshot sights, and opening shot would be the best roll. So hammer forge rifling increases range, and high caliber round slightly increases range again. Snapshot sights gives you a faster time to aim down sights, an opening shot where you get improved accuracy and range on the opening shot of the attack. Well, next up, let's have a look at how to get the Silicon Neroma in Destiny 2. Well, to get this sniper, you have to run Nightfall Strikes when Silicon Neroma is available as a reward that week. So it's available this week from the 1st until the 8th of March 2022, and then it's going to be available later on in the season. We don't yet have a full picture of the weapon rotation at the moment for Nightfalls, but when we do, I'll be sure to let you know. And Silicon Neroma drops more regularly on higher difficulty Nightfalls, so you really want to be running the Legend or the Master Nightfalls for a chance for it to drop for you. you know, early on in the season, that's going to be tricky as you have to level up to at least 1530 to stand a chance in that Nightfall, although later in the season, when you're leveled accordingly, it's going to be much easier. Well, the Adept version of Silicon Neroma will be available once the Grandmaster Nightfalls get added to the game in a few weeks' time, but for now, your best bet is to run Legend or Master Nightfalls and you should get a drop of Silicon Neroma in no time at all. Well, let me know in the comments what you think of the Silicon Neroma and let me know your favourite role. Well, that is it for this guide for how to get the Silicon Neroma in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.